The Prisoner's Dilemma is probably the most widely known game in game theory. Let's see how it works. It describes a situation where two prisoners, Prisoner 1 and Prisoner 2, suspected of a robbery are taken into custody. Each of the prisoners can choose from two alternative options, either to confess the crime or to lie about it, which could be seen as cooperating with each other. The police will question them on separate interrogation rooms. Since they cannot speak to each other, this is considered a simultaneous game, and therefore we use the strategic form to analyze it using a matrix. If none of them confesses, they will both be charged with a lesser sentence, a year of prison each. The police will try to convince each prisoner to confess the crime by offering them to go free while the other prisoner will be sentenced to a 10 years term. If both prisoners confess, each prisoner will be sentenced to 8 years. In order to solve this game, we must look for the Nash Equilibrium. This is, each prisoner will analyze their best strategy given the other prisoner's possible strategies. Prisoner 1 must think about what choice Prisoner 2 is going to make in order to choose the best strategy. By adding the payoffs of each possible strategy for Player 2, we get the expected value for each strategy. It can be easily seen that Prisoner 2 will choose to confess, since he will be better off. Therefore, Prisoner 1 must choose the best strategy given that Prisoner 2 will choose to confess. Prisoner 1 can either confess, which pays negative 8, or lie, which pays negative 10. The rational thing to do for Prisoner 1 is therefore to confess. Proceeding inversely, we analyze the beliefs of Prisoner 2 about Prisoner 1's strategies, which gets us to the same point. The rational thing to do for Prisoner 2 is to confess. Confess Confess is the Nash equilibrium in this game. Since it is the set of strategies that maximizes each prisoner's utility given the other prisoner's strategy. On the downside, here the Nash equilibrium does not meet the criteria for being Pareto optimal. For both prisoners, the Pareto efficient strategy in terms of getting sooner out of jail would be lie lie, which means cooperating with each other. The analysis of the prisoner's dilemma is an important part of game theory. However, it's worth mentioning that the analysis slightly changes when repeating the game multiple times.